YouTube, this is M Producing or Midcarry 350 back again for another video. And I am really sorry about not posting on Wednesday slash Thursday. And that is, the reason for that is I didn't have anything to really show. I mean, I was taking kind of break from making cards, so I didn't really have anything to show you guys. And I'm really, really sorry about that. So I've made up for it by making something really will probably make you happy. It made me really happy when I made it because the art turned out so well. And, yeah, let's just dive right into it. So, it's, like, seven new cards, I'm pretty sure. And, so here is the Energy Tome. It's the last tome I needed to make. So now all the tomes are done, which is really, really good. I'm really happy about that. And now I just need to scan them into the computer and I can make multiple copies. Now, uh, Graveyard Rise. A uh, funny story about this is you can see it's an ultra I was going to make it an Omega but I accidentally did it in a black pen instead of blue pen so now it's just there's not gonna be an, an ability a permanent resource any of that stuff Omega because this was going to be the Omega and there's nothing that's going to be more powerful than this card and so here it is graveyard rise it's 10 crystals to play and it's shuffle your graveyard into your deck and draw five cards that's insane. That is literally insane. Because if you run out of cards in your deck, you lose. So, to just restart that whole process and get your whole deck back, that's crazy. This can really save your life. Um, I'm really happy how, about how the art turned out as well. It looks pretty scary. Like Halloween and the red moon. I, I like that a lot. Now here, I am proud to present... I'm actually extremely happy about all the art, except for the main cards. Oh wait, what's funny? Okay, let me just say what it is first. This is my archetype. It is the wolf archetype. Wait a second. Whoops. I left one of the cards for the archetype in my deck box where I keep all the cards. Let me just shuffle through it and get it out, because you do need to see it. Nah. Where is it? Okay. Here it is. Hashtag Blooper Nation. Join the Blooper Nation for more bloopers in my videos. Okay. Well, there we go. I got it now. So this is the wolf archetype. And here are the two main cards. I'll get into the other cards for it later. After I go over these two. And so it's the Twilight Wolf and the Solar Wolf. Honestly, I hate the Solar Wolf's art. I don't know why. It is, I think I hate it because compared to the other wolf's art, it looks horrible. The Twilight Wolf's okay. I mean, still not as good as the other wolves, but, you know. It's gonna have to deal with it. There. So... I'm going to read the stats off, so, Twilight Wolf has 210 HP, 210 range attack, and 190 melee attack, and it costs, uh, this is where my good counting skills come in, 9 crystals, and when Twilight Wolf is played, it gains plus 20 health for every wolf card you have in play, and if it says, like, something wolf, then it's a wolf card, and Solar Wolf is basically the opposite, it has... Uh, 280 HP, because this one doesn't gain HP, and when it, uh, for wolf cards, it gives out HP for wolf cards, but I'll get to that, and then it has 190 Rat K, and Mat K, and Melee Attack, and Range Attack, both 190, oh, and this one's also a rare, totally forgot to say that, man, I am so, I'm so tired, I'm forgetting to say everything, I'm so sorry for that, I'm just really, really tired, really, really tired. I'm always tired. Okay. Solar Wolf. When Solar Wolf is played, heal 20 health to all wolf cards on your field. Whew. That is really, really good. And it's the same, I believe. Yeah. Nine crystals to play. Now, the cards that will buff those three are Frost. Let's start with the first one. Forest Wolf. So, Forest Wolf. When Forest Wolf is played, raise all of your Solar Wolf's melee attack by 30. And then Frost Wolf is 
when Frostwolf is played, raise all of your Twilight Wolves range, range attack by 30. And that's 130 HP, 150 uh, range attack, and 150 melee attack. And this one's the exact opposite, 150 HP, 130 range attack, and 130 melee attack. And they're both uncommon. Both cost 6 crystals to play. This one's obviously Aqua. Oh, this one is Energy. This one is Death. If you can't tell... You didn't memorize the background associated with every element by now. It's, I'm telling you. And this one's Aqua and Life. And so they're pretty much opposites. Um, one boosts the Twilight Wolves range and the other boosts the Solar Wolves melee. And then the one, this one, I really like how the art turned out. This is probably my favorite art for all of them. I really, really like this art. And it's Sand Wolf has 120 HP, 140 range, and 140 melee. It costs 7, opposed to their 6, because it's much. It's actually a lot better. And it's an uncommon creature. When you play Sand Wolf, all of your Twilight Wolves and Solar Wolves gain plus 30 to all of their stats. That's really, really good. And that is why it costs more. I'm probably actually going to buff that up to 8, which is a lot for an uncommon uh, but its stats are not that good. Uh, and, like, not great, so. And its ability is really good. Its stats are not good, so that's why it's cost like it's uncommon. And, yeah, that is the wolf archetype of the, of the Master Casters, and I'm really happy about all the art, except for the two main ones. I mean, that's so ironic, because the counterparts of the main ones look better. Also, the Sand Wolf is basically just the Solar Wolf's color uh, scheme, color palette, and but inverted. Um, as you can see, there's kind of like a pattern for each of these wolves. Their like main thing is the darkest part. Their main and ears are the darkest part, and their nose is also very dark. This one, its main is dark. I added like all this part because it looked much better. And yeah, that is basically it for this archetype. I am really happy of how it turned out. Please tell me in the comment section below which wolf is your favorite. And if you like these guys. And um, tell me if you like the archetype, which wolf is your favorite. Thanks so much for watching. This is Mutaro Fubembo, signing out. See you guys later.